Hi Gemini, welcome to my channel, Baddison Intuitive Tarot. Hope you are doing fantastic out there. In today's reading, I'm taking a look into your romantic love life for the week of May 2024. I'm gonna pull a seven card spread, see who shows up in your reading today with romantic intentions towards you. Whether it's a new person heading their way or you are already currently connecting with someone right now and you're just wanting to be sure that you and this person are on the same page and that you can trust this person's intentions and to see what actions that they plan to take towards you this week. Whichever your status is at the moment, Gemini, I will try my very best to see who you're connecting to around this time frame, what your story could be with this person, and how the situation may play out over the next seven days. If there is a spiritual contract you guys need to fulfill, or if you guys are going through any major lessons together, I don't hold back. I give the good, the bad, and the ugly. I don't hold back, so please only take what resonates with you, leave what doesn't behind, and never give your power away to tarot cards. With that being said, let's begin your reading, Gemini. All right, Spirit, please dive into the energy of Gemini today. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus placements. Who's coming towards Gemini this week, and can Gemini trust the situation? How do they both feel about each other for the next seven days or so? Is this someone new? Is this someone old? Is it someone current? What's going on with Gemini's love life this week? Gemini Love, May 2024. What's their weekly tarot forecast? Two more shuffles. One and two. Let's rock this and deck for my beautiful Geminis. All right, so let's dive into the person that's coming towards you this week and get a look-see at how they feel about you. We have the Empress. This is Major Arcana for Taurus and Venus and Libra. Now, when someone feels the empress for somebody, that's their way of saying that they feel like you are very attractive, you're very nurturing, you're very caring. You give off that, that vibe that they can feel safe around you. And don't get hung up on the gender. This can come up as men too. They just feel like you've got that energy about you where you're very nurturing to the people in your life. You might even work in a field that involves you being nurturing to people, like work as a nurse, a school teacher, or you just, you got that vibe and they really love it, okay? But let's see what their intentions are. What's their intentions with Gemini? The Ace of Pentacles. Now the Ace of Pentacles is pretty good as intentions, I might say. Um, the Ace of Pentacles as intentions is the intent to forge a stable opportunity to make certain that something has the chance to be something special, be something long-term. Because the Ace of Pentacles is the stepping stone to the Ten of Pentacles card, which is the energy of building a successful legacy with somebody, building a relationship that is strong and intact, where even the biggest of arguments can be managed with two people who love each other and can work through the obstacles together. All right. So you've got someone that's looking to settle down with somebody and they've set their sights on you so far. It looks good, but I want to see the rest of the spread because you never know. Um, let's take a look at more. So their behavior towards you this week, Gemini, is the Knight of Pentacles. The Knight of Pentacles as their behavior alongside the Ace of Pentacles as intentions, the Empress as feelings, tells me that this person's making a plan with you in it. But they're going about it very slowly and carefully. You see, the Knight of Pentacles likes to make sure that they're not leaving any cracks in the system. You know, nothing that would eventually lead to a, a massive tower. Just like this person is trying to work on the foundation of a building to prevent the building from falling down. That's how you, you know, avoid certain towers. If you take your time building a strong foundation with somebody where you're building trust, you're building friendship and things like that, it allows any future towers to not be impacting the relationship as much, okay? Like if you have a strong foundation with someone, Gemini, an argument is not gonna be a deal breaker. You guys will work through it together. But if you don't have a strong foundation and you have an argument, that's enough for someone to be like, you know what, I'm blocking you, I'm done. I'm done, you're not even worth it. Because the time wasn't taken, um, the, the energy wasn't put into building a strong foundation with somebody. Let's take a look at how you feel. The Nine of Pentacles. You're in this boss energy, Gemini. I love it. The Nine of Pentacles is pre-Empress energy, okay? You can be an Empress in your own life, but it's coming in as pre-Empress energy, meaning you're not married. Um, the Nine of Pentacles is someone that represents an Empress, but they're single. So you're over here just focusing on yourself, focusing on your money, your responsibilities, and you're looking really good. And the Ace of Pentacles 
plus the nine of pentacles equals the ten of pentacles. So this person intends to come toward you with this pentacle in the hopes of changing you from single status to being now in a relationship with them status. Okay, so let's take a look at the challenge. What could affect this relationship this week? The Three of Cups. Now, the Three of Cups as challenge could tell me that there is, you know, a meddling friend or like someone that's possibly jealous and stirring up drama. And if that's not the case, um, there could be something that is discussed this week that is taken out of context. I'm going to have to clarify that card. I'm going to have to clarify that. All right. What's the potential weekly outcome? The strength card, major for Leo. You look happy here. You look like you've overcome or overcame a lot of different obstacles, not just in your love life. And you're feeling really proud of yourself this week, Gemini. You're in this energy of, wow, where I came from, look at me now. You're really proud of yourself and I love it. You may be telling the world that you started with a lot less than other people are given and you overcame a lot more than what other people overcame who had things handed to them. This feels like a, a, a career message too. Or it's telling me that I have a Gemini that feels like they are overcoming generational trauma or generational curses and you just feel like you're the first in your family to either graduate college or start your own business or to be in a healthy relationship. There's something about you feeling like you're the first in your family for something. And if that's not the case, you're just feeling overall good about yourself. What's your advice? The Six of Pentacles. Give to those that give back. You know, if you feel like you're giving and you're not receiving anything in terms of time, energy, love, affection, then drop it. Don't waste your time, Gemini, with any time wasters. What's the overall energy that supports your love life this week? The Eight of Wands and the High Priestess. So the Eight of Wands is all about communication, right? And the High Priestess is all about silence. So for some of you, your love life has been a little bit quiet and this week it's kind of like picking up momentum where there's someone flirting with you, there's someone asking you on a date, or you're reading a message from someone that you may have not expected to hear from. As it shows me this feminine energy, getting a letter and very much being happy about it. All right, so I need to clarify. So let's start with this person's feelings for you this week, Gemini. You know, this is this is like the first reading I've done for you in a while that was like not full of like drama. <laughs> this actually looks pretty calm and peaceful. You may have taken some time out for yourself and it did you a world of good. I'm strongly getting a Gemini that definitely took some time out for your self-care and it's looking like it did you a lot of good. All right, please clarify the Empress for how this person feels about Gemini, please. Whoever this person is and whatever happens with your relationship, they definitely see your worth. They definitely see how valuable you are to your community. Why the Empress? All right, we got the Two of Wands, we got the Five of Pentacles, and we got the Nine of Swords. For some of you, this person may feel like if they don't make a move right now, they're not going to get a chance to. There's also this fear of you rejecting what they have to offer you. And that's why they're trying to be careful about how they present this to you. Wow. Hmm. Maybe someone got some really bad advice. Maybe someone's in their ear telling them to speed up, you know, coming towards you when they're not fully ready yet. Or there's something else going on. I'm, I really want to clarify that Three of Cups because that's the only card that could show me that there's some sort of wrench in the system, in the situation. For some of you, you got someone that feels like they have to step out of their comfort zone in order to come towards you with what you want and maybe this is very uncomfy for them. They're standing in front of that door knowing that they have to walk through it. But by walking through it, it exposes them to unfamiliar, unfamiliar territories where they might end up getting locked out. This is someone that is scared to walk through that door in fear of not being able to get back into their comfort zone if they don't end up getting what they want from you. Oh, Gemini. Hmm. Wow. It's like, um, it's the energy of, do I want to open up Pandora's box? Because once I open it, I won't better close it again. So for some of you, this is someone asking you out for the first time or confessing their feelings for the first time and they're scared. 
that it's going to make things awkward for the two of you and you won't better ever go back to your old relationship once this person tells you how they feel. That could be what I'm getting and that could be why the Three of Cups is in the challenge position. It's like this person's like, if I open up to a Gemini, that might ruin our friendship if they don't want me. And if that's not the case, if you're already engaging with this person romantically, even though I kind of see that you're single right here, where you may not even be acknowledging that this person's interested in you or knowing that they're interested in you. Whoever this person is, they've got a lot of anxiety, a lot of trepidation involving asking you out on a date or coming towards you with a serious offer. Um, it's like, oh, um, all right, if I open up and tell Gemini what I want and if they don't give what I want in return, this is gonna be embarrassing. I'm gonna be embarrassed. So let's clarify how you feel. All right, Gemini's feelings for this person. You look so like, oh man, I love your energy here. Oh my, I love it. Why the Nine of Pentacles for how Gemini's feeling? The world and the Ace of Pentacles and the Six of Cups and the Seven of Wands. Ooh, and a hair tickling me. So Gemini, what I'm getting off of you is that you recently, and I mean recently, ended a major cycle with a past situation not too long ago, and you're only holding out for what is stable going forward, which is the Ace of Pentacles, this person's intentions. All right, you're pretty much telling me that you've had your fair share of failed relationships and you've ended those chapters and you've learned a lot about yourself in the process and you've learned how to put up some healthy batteries to stay firm on your convictions and your beliefs in order to really attract a healthy relationship ten of cups so I have a Gemini here that you're giving off the vibration that if you're not offering me what I deserve I'm not even gonna pay you any mind I, I just you don't exist to me you don't exist to me is what you're showing me you're, you're definitely in this boss energy where if someone's low vibrational or coming towards you with the wrong intentions, they don't exist to you. You don't even notice them. They're so, they don't even cross your mind whatsoever. And you've got this person coming towards you with something very stable and secure. But you may be intimidating them because maybe you didn't notice that they were flirting with you or noticed that they were hitting you up. Something like that. I don't feel like it's an ex. I don't feel like it's an ex coming towards you, okay? Take it however it resonates. For some of you, someone's coming back in a different way to get different results. But I am getting that this is a new person that may start it off as a friend of yours and is worried that they're gonna lose the friendship if they ask you out and you say no. Or someone's about to confess their feelings for the first time and you haven't told them how you feel about them yet. And they're like, oh, am I about to embarrass myself? Let's look at their intentions. Your, in your person's intentions is the Ace of Pentacles. I mean, this, this reading looks pretty good. Why the Ace of Pentacles as this person's intentions with Gemini? The Fool and the Knight of Pentacles. Look at that. Knight of Pentacles. And I got the Magician, Page of Pentacles, and the Fool. The Fool is all about new cycles opening up, new chapters. In order for the Fool to enter into a new journey, an old cycle has to close out first. So Spirit was waiting for you to end this cycle with your past before letting this person come towards you to start a new chapter. So this is someone brand spanking new in your life, Gemini, that you're either getting to know right now and feelings are developing, or you're about to meet this person this week and they're gonna be taken aback by your attractiveness, your loving nature, and they're gonna wanna ask you out, but it might be stepping them out of their comfort zone. They might be very shy or just have had some bad luck in love. It's something like that. It's something like that. You may have met them during Aries season, but they're coming towards you with something very long-term here with that Knight of Pentacles, and they're coming in as a manifester. They manifest things quickly. They could manifest what they don't want just as quick. So let's clarify this Three of Cups, because I really want to know what's going on with that. Because I'm wondering if you're dating more than one person and that's what's challenging this, or if this is someone that's scared to take this connection from a friendship to romantic. Why the Three of Cups? 
Ace of Swords in reverse. So the challenge here is someone hasn't been honest about something or someone's giving uh, false advice. That could be what I'm getting. Hmm. There could be somebody in this equation that is jealous of somebody here and is giving poor advice because they are envious of what someone else has got going on. I'm strongly getting that. And I'm strongly getting the energy off of you that you're the first out of your family to do something or the first out of your friendship group to do something that you know is bringing you a lot of happiness. And you might have some haters telling you, look, that person's not into you. Don't even bother going on a date with them. They're not into you. Clearly, this person's into you. But maybe they see how happy that they might make you. You guys, I'm, I'm getting something like that. Be careful of, you know, being around people that are comfortable with what, how you used to be or, you know, if you grew up in a environment where there was a lot of struggle and you're the only one that's doing well, it's the crab bucket theory coming through my head right now. Um, I'm getting crab bucket theory. Someone seeing you finally break out of being a singleton or break out of financial setbacks and just doing really good for yourself and might be giving you false advice. Or that's flipped for somebody. Give me another card on this. Give me another card on this. The Hermit, Justice in Reverse, could be a divorcee. Gemini, there's someone potentially in your friendship group, whether a guy or girl, that is giving you not the best advice because they don't feel like it's fair that you're getting everything that you want and they're not. Take that however it resonates. It might just be a side, a side note for someone out there and it may not be for everybody. Um, I am getting something like that. But if that's not the case, I am getting the original message where someone here is wanting to date you, but maybe they're nervous about taking it to the next level um, because it's very serious. It, it's like you can't go back once you offer something more long term. So their behavior towards you this week is the Knight of Pentacles. Why the Knight of Pentacles? Just don't be quick to post anything on your Facebook or, or tell everybody about who you're dating just yet. Just enjoy the connection while... You guys get to know each other. Why the Knight of Pentacles? The Ace of Wands and the Eight of Pentacles and the Emperor. Gemini, that's as good as it gets. The Emperor as their behavior, the Empress as their feelings, the Eight of Pentacles, Ace of Wands, Knight of Pentacles. Gemini, you better get ready because you've got someone well on their way to potentially locking it down with you if you'll allow it. Um, just try not to let anyone poo-poo in your Wheaties, okay? Because you might have some jealous haters around you, you know? Because look how good you look. You look like everything is just working out in your favor because you've been doing the work. You've been healing. You've been focusing on yourself. You've been really, like, putting so much effort into your shadow work and just healing things that maybe the people you grew up with aren't bothering with healing, you know, you cannot heal in the environment that made you sick. So I'm strongly getting a Gemini that had to detach from a very unhealthy dynamic, um, whether it was, you know, people from your past, Six of Cups, siblings, family members, exes. There's something about you that's telling me that you've, you pulled yourself from a dark abyss and you're looking at your life thinking, wow, I cannot believe I got in this far and I did it myself. You're feeling really empowered this week and the more you pour into yourself Gemini the more you attract someone who's going to want to pour into you as well how you feel about yourself internally is who you attract externally so if you're not putting yourself first if you're not treating yourself well you're going to attract a, a person that's going to treat you like crap that's not going to respect you okay but by respecting yourself and pouring into your yourself you're attracting someone that's going to treat you the same way you know, this is, this is the best reading I think I've done for you in a very long time. If you're single and you don't have anyone around you just yet, keep doing what you're doing because it's working. It's going to work in your favor, big time Gemini. All right, so if you're single, it's like spirits sending somebody towards you very soon who's going to change that for you. Just know that the more successful you are, the more people are going to want to pull you down with them. Okay, look up the crab bucket theory. And also look up the iceberg theory. Why the strength card for the weekly outcome? 
the King of Wands, Leo energy, the Chariot Cancer energy. Look at that. Your confidence is racing this week. You're going places, Gemini. Where you're going it has nothing to do with what's in your rear view. Just keep your eyes peeled on the, on the road and you're going to be just fine. Look at that. Something tells me that during Leo season and Cancer season, things are going to really pick up for you. Possibly even with this person. So your advice is to give to it if it's giving to you in return. Now for the Geminis that may be in complicated situations right now or you're dealing with someone that's not speaking to you right now and you're in no contact, I'll pull their hidden feelings for you in a moment. Why is Gemini's advice the Six of Pentacles? The Ace of Pentacles and the Page of Cups in reverse. Your advice is to accept an offer that feels stable for you, that feels genuine, and to block anybody that's coming towards you immature page of cups in reverse because i'm strongly getting somebody not wanting to see you level up whether it's an ex that won't let you go someone that's taken you know taking their time asking you you know for a long-term relationship or that's a childhood friend or someone that just feels like you're getting lucky even though you worked hard for it and it's, there's nothing about luck in that why the eight of wands and high priestess the star and the two of cups. Look at that, Gemini. This is your soulmate. And I don't say that too often because we have many soulmates. We have soulmates that come in as friends, as mentors, teachers. We have soulmates that come in to trigger the F out of us so we can heal and grow. But then there's those soulmates that come in as life partners, people that we can finally have peace with and finally relax and be ourselves around and be best friends with and grow old with. And that's the Emperor and Empress right there. So if you don't have that special bond with someone right now, don't waste your time with anybody that is not respecting your time or adding value to your life and just being a liability. Anyone that stresses you out, don't even bother. Unless they're willing to grow and work on themselves, they're just going to hold you back. You know, people can change. I've seen it. You know, we all have that part of us that we're not proud of. We all have a past, but it takes someone having self-awareness and taking accountability and to acknowledge, I need to change in this area of my life in order to get the results that I want. I need to do it for me. So if you're connecting with people that no matter how much you encourage them to take the path that you're taking so that they can have what you're building for yourself too, if they're not willing to do the work, you can't force them. Just don't let them sabotage what you're creating for yourself. This feels more than just a love-related reading, Gemini. It feels like this is including other areas of your life where you're just finally reaching your highest potential and people around you weren't taking your advice. They just thought you were delusional because maybe you were talking about manifestation, you know, all that stuff. And they're like, Gemini, please, manis manifesting, that's gibberish. And you're like, well, watch me, watch me create my reality. So you could be dealing with an Aries, a Taurus, a Libra, a Pisces, and Aries, I already said, Cancerian energy, Leo is here, Virgo, and Taurus, and Aquarius, and Scorpio. It could be any zodiac sign though. Please rock that like and subscribe button for your girl Gemini. And if you would like to book a private reading, the link to my website can be found in the description box below this video. Also, I go live every weekend with the All Signs Their Feelings for you spread at 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. I'll link it in the description box below this video. The most recent one I did, it's good for the first week of May. Just click on the Gemini timestamp and you'll be good. Can you let go of the past and forgive me? Can you trust me again with your heart? My heart always comes back to you even when I don't want it to. I still feel deeply connected to you, but I won't admit it. I'm still trying to find a place for myself in the world. So Gemini, you've got somebody that you were linked to before trying to come back into your life, but they're still trying to find their place in the world. So they're not really, really sure of where they're going. And it looks like you are sure of where you are going. So maybe you can send this person love and light, but not allow this situation to affect you. All right. So please only take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Don't give your power away to tarot cards. I will check back with you in a few days for your weekly update, Gemini. Until then, just do what's best for you, okay? I love you. Take care.